Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Walt Barrow, and I'm here with Michael Biondi, who is Vulture's senior software engineer. And so we have a new product here at Vulture. It's our DBAS. It's our database as a service. And so Mike's going to walk us through it, and he's going to uh, show you the GUI, talk about the migration tool to bring your data over to Vulture, and a lot of, of other features and new things that we have coming out with Vulture. Don't forget to subscribe and to comment if you have a question below. And let's just get started uh, and start chatting with Mike. So, hey, Mike, what's up? Let's. Uh, Let's just talk about this new product that you've been working on. Hey, what's going on, Walt? So we've been hard at work getting our new database as a service uh, going. So um, right now you notice that we are in um, uh, soft beta. So uh, if you go to products on your Vulture portal, um, you'll notice a new tab, a little new tab here called uh, databases. And you click on that and uh, you'll be able to add a database cluster. So uh, if you already have them, you can click add database. But if you don't, you'll have this little add database cluster here. Click on add hey. database. By the way, yeah. just so that people know, this is my.vulture.com. So if you set up an account at Vulture, which is free, and we have a coupon code too uh, for people who are interested, um, this is what they see when they first come in, right? Like on the yeah. left side panel are all the products, and then the top are the different um, you know, versions of those products. Exactly. Yeah. So we have um, we have several different products here. You know, like obviously they're all. And, and the more we had, you know, you'll you'll see them pop up here. The more products we have, and we have a lot of you know cool products in the works for this year. Um, so yeah, keep a lookout on, uh, for those. But you know, lately our our, lead, our newest one is uh, databases. Yeah. So this right here is obviously after you sign up for Vulture, or if you already have an account and you log in, you you're at my.vulture.com, your portal. And um, as we add new products to the Vulture inventory, you'll notice some up here. And uh, our latest one, which is what we've been hard at work at, which is our managed database service, and that's databases right over here. And um, if you don't have any, you'll have this button called Add Database Cluster, or you can click the little Add button and click Add Database here. So we'll add a database cluster. And right now, in our current state of uh, beta, we have uh, MySQL, Postgres, and Redis are coming soon, as well as uh, MongoDB and uh, uh, Scylla. And uh, so right now, you'll be able to select uh, MySQL version 8 and uh, select your server type and your plan. So we have uh, we have all of our Vulture nodes and all of our new uh, our, our new Vulture VMs that we uh, you can select from here. So you have your basic cloud compute with uh, one replica node or uh, you know however many you want here. So over here you could select the uh, the horsepower your resources you need. So if you need a lot of RAM, you know 16 gigs of RAM, and how many number of replica nodes we we uh, for redundancy we at least recommend one replica node um, or uh, two for more. And what's going to happen is say one of your nodes fails or it can't um, uh, can't work. What's going to happen is it's going to take one of these replica nodes, promote it to the promote it to the primary node. Um, all behind the scenes without you even knowing, and um, uh, you know continue your uh, cluster and uh, deploy a new node for uh, you know, as a replacement of the node that went down, and you won't even know this is happening. This is all behind the scenes. It's all redundant. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, let's let's select a little something with a, a little more performance here. So um, let's do uh, Intel, and we'll do um, let's give ourselves at least uh, let's give ourselves uh, 16 gigs of RAM. And we'll do uh, two replica nodes. So we'll do two nodes. So one's a replica, one's a primary. Um, and just 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 for your own uh, knowledge, uh, storage we have a uh, general purpose, um, high performance Intel, high performance AMD. Um, the high performance means we have a higher clock speed um, on the newer processors. General purpose um, is uh, we we give a little bit more a um, little more resources on the uh, CPU and the storage optimized. We give you a lot of storage, so you can go all the way up to uh, almost eight terabytes of storage on uh, our storage optimized. But Going back to this, we'll do Intel. We'll do uh, the one with 16 gigs of RAM with one replica node, so that's a two-node cluster. Um, we're in New Jersey, so we'll click on the New Jersey data center. And just you know, all of the products are available to all of our data centers at all time. Um, label, we'll do this as a uh, you know um, you know Vulture test um, 000, and we will uh, deploy. So as you notice now that we're in a running state, this means our uh, cluster has been deployed and configured, and it's in a perfect running state. So we're going to go in here. And this right here is everything you can uh, manage currently through the GUI. And uh, as you'll notice right here, we have uh, some general information on what the current plan is, um, how long ago the cluster was created, the uh, maintenance window we have set, which we'll go into that in a moment, our database engine, uh, when our latest backup happened, um, how many replica nodes we have, our location, our label. We have some actions here, which is our fork database cluster and our restore from backup. And we have our connection details. And uh, this right here just makes it super easy for you to, uh, you know, I we can copy a connection string for our terminal. Uh, we can select which database or user we want, and that will uh, dynamically change in here. So when you copy it, it will have uh, the connection for the right user and right database. 
Um, our trusted sources is our firewall. So right now, once you deploy, your cluster is open to everything, so everybody can connect to it. Um, what we recommend is that you uh, you restrict it by adding the IP addresses of what you uh, of what you want to be able to connect to. So once you add an IP address, everything else is cut off except that IP address or IP address or IP address range. You can enter as many as you'd like in there. So um, we recommend that you only add in like obviously um, whichever you're connecting from. So whether it's your application server or your computer, your your home IP address, we recommend that so that way it's not open to everybody. Um, your password is randomly generated, um, you know, on the fly to secure a randomly generated password. Everybody gets it unique. Um, and then, uh, so we'll go here into uh, some of the uh, some of the features that we have um, off the bat. So right now we have uh, queries and logs, which um, you can see, uh, you know, our uh, our recently running queries um, and our recent statistics, which is uh, you know, kind of our common queries, our most common queries on how many times it's been ran, um, you know, how many rows it returns or affects, um, the uh, minimum mean time, which is. Uh, you know, minimum mean to max time, which is the uh, how long this query takes to run. So that way it helps you better uh, optimize your queries and your database and uh, gives you a little bit uh, waves of debugging. See if you can see, hey, this is a really super slow query. Let me adjust my uh, schema a little bit. Um, our recent logs, which is more about the MySQL service going on behind the scenes, gives you a little bit more insight of what's happening. So that way you know, if, hey, you want to, I need to upgrade to the next plan, um, go, go on to the next plan size. Um, users and databases. So right from here, we can uh, we can add in our uh, we can add in new users and databases. So these are the default ones we give you. Um, you could reset the password to that, which you know we do recommend. Um, you know after if uh, you know after you've deployed, you know it's always good to do something like that. Um, when you add a new user. We, uh, you know, type in your username. Um, if you don't add in a password, it will ge generate a random one for you. And then you could select your password encryption type. So, for instance, if you don't have the latest version of PHP, you have an older version of PHP, um, your driver probably won't support the new uh, password encryption for MySQL 8. So, you'll want to use MySQL 5, uh, the legacy one. And uh, that that will that's fully supported so that way your drivers um your the drivers of your application don't need to be updated you can continue with that it'll be a much easier uh seamless migration um your uh databases so we can add a, a new database name right from here and then you can just go in and add your tables from that um we can go into settings and uh right here as i was talking about before is your upgrade window when we talk about maintenance and when these things happen we don't want any downtime or you at least know when to experience downtime so when we upgrade your nodes or um you know run patches and whatnot that's going to happen at this specific day of the week um so it's going to have uh you know the day and time so we do uh by default sunday uh, at 6 a.m utc and you can change that to whichever one you'd like and that will happen automatically every week um sql mode so in order to uh, you know better accommodate your application, you know you can tweak whichever SQL modes you want or don't want right through here. Um, we have uh, some you know documentation on you know which uh, SQL modes, but you know I'm sure uh, you being familiar enough with your application, you'll know which SQL modes are right for you. Cool. What is different from the Vulture uh, database as a service versus the databases that are available on Vulture Marketplace? The the difference is that these are managed, correct? Yeah, these are managed. So these are fully managed. We um, you you we don't even um, we don't even allow you to uh, access the uh, the VMs. They're fully uh, they're the the service. It basically, it, it takes away you having to do all guesswork of uh, properly configuring your cluster and getting the right encryptions and uh, in your disk encryptions and um, making sure that there's uh, you know 100% uptime and uh, you know, it alleviates a lot of that. So instead of how you know. For instance, if a, a, a VM or something like that goes down or, or uh, you have a bad query that's just locking your whole database or there's a lock file or something like that, um, the managed database service is going to, um, you know, detect that that's happening and it's going to get you back up in uh, no time. You won't even know. Um, usually it's within uh, seconds, maybe minutes tops. It's going to, you know, uh, get you back up and running without any issue. Um, the other thing, too, is like I said, it's, uh, you know, we have the point in time recovery with all the backups and the logs. Um, we have end-to-end uh, -end encryption and uh, with the automatic certificate rotation, and uh, you know with their, your maintenance window, it sets the uh, it sets the time in which those things are going to happen, which is going to be your uh, you know your operating system patches and your um, your your MySQL patches and all of your updates, and um, yeah, we, uh, we we like I said, we just take away all the guesswork for you and uh, and take away all of the management uh, aspect to it. You don't have to you don't have to think about it. You don't have to go. Oh, let me go log into my database server and uh, make sure everything's okay and make sure I can run and, uh, or log into my database server and then I ran an update and now everything broke. You don't have to worry about those things. You know, we don't even you know you won't even see the VMs uh, behind the scenes. All that stuff is handled for you. It's uh, it, it, it's 
it's really just we, we give you um, a way to connect to your database, and um, and that's really it. And you have uh, some ways of tweaking your database from your SQL modes, um, you know, your your upgrade windows, and um, you know your uh, you know how your databases and users add users add databases, and uh, you should be able to connect um, you know through any other application with this and. Um, all of the uh, all the other stuff behind the scenes happens automatically. So all of your uh, all of your certificates, all your encryption, um, that's all all handled for you. Cool. This is, is awesome. So uh, you know, once again, I'll put the links in the video description. Also check out this coupon code. I'll put it in, uh, on the video here, and that's available in the video description too. And uh, you know, thanks again, Mike, for you know showing us through this product. And uh, come back on. We would love to talk about more stuff. Absolutely. It's always a pleasure, Walt, and I look forward to doing the next one with you. We have uh, plenty more stuff, like I said before, coming out. So, you know, expect more of these. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. Take care.